Hello and welcome. In today's video, we are going to be going over two of my favorite keyword research tools that we use at Severum Web Studio to do all of our SEO keyword research before, during, and after campaigns, uh, competition research, uh, onboarding new clients, projects, uh, this video. Uh, this is pretty much from start to finish how we do research here for a new topic. And the tools that we use are Key Search and KW Finder from Mangools. Both of these keyword research tools are very affordable compared to the bigger giants, Ahrefs or Ahrefs, however you want to call it, uh, and SEMrush. Both of those tools are pretty expensive monthly and even yearly, have a load of features, which is almost impossible for one person to use them all, um, and can be quite a large portion of budget when you're just starting out and trying to keep your online business really lean or your online portion of your business really lean. So I'm going to go over these two affordable options for keyword research and tell you why I actually use both of them rather than only one of them. Uh, it turns out to still be cheaper than either giants and I really like what I get out of both of them and they both have some pros and cons. So we're going to kind of jump through that we're going to first start up with Key Search, which is the cheaper of the two. Um, as you can see, I paid $169 for uh, one year of this service. I just started with the starter plan because that's pretty much all I need. Uh, you don't have to be in here every day searching a million keywords. Uh, and my other subscription has a lot more keywords if I ever do run out. So. Uh, for this video, we're actually searching key search versus KW Finder because that's a video that's what we're trying to rank for. So we can quickly type in here our keyword and we can see the search trends over the past 12 months. We can see what is showing up here as a result, uh, you know, some data about that URL, what their strengths are, uh, if they have backlinks. Uh, you can see that backlinks don't matter. How about that? Um, you could see if they've got this in the title, which none of them do because nobody has written an article labeled that. So of course there's not going to be anybody. Anyways, you can see a few keyword suggestions down here. You can see all of your keywords over here. If you want to pull the difficulty, you actually have to then go and click check uh, and then it'll pull it up and it'll pull it up over here. You can export these into a list and save them in a keyword list. You could pull a bunch together and compare them. Uh, you could go, you know, down the gamut here. There's lots of options to go through. Something that I don't like about this tool is it doesn't show a whole lot about the SERP analysis. It doesn't show you what's actually ranking uh, as far as if there's snippets or if there's featured. Uh, you can't tell if maybe you know, SEMrush probably has like multiple selections here. They're probably dominating this space with like the space of two or three. Um, there might be like people also search, doesn't show any of that. So that's kind of mm, leaves a little bit to be desired. It's fairly clunky in my opinion, but you could still get the job done, super affordable. So that's really nice. Let's just take this keyword and we're actually just kind of pop it into key, KW Finder just to see the differences. Um, here, let's pull this back up again so we can see the difference between the two. So this is uh, this is KW Finder here. We're going to search by keyword, type that in, and we're going to go... I'm going to type that in first. It's going to do autocomplete because it was already selected on there, but we're going to change that. Um, we're going to wait for my really slow internet. Hashtag hotspot life. If this video is being helpful to you at all, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below if you want more details about anything specific uh, about Key Search and KW Finder. I'll be using these tools every day and would love to show you around if you have a specific question about a feature or uh, an option on any of these. Uh, or, you know, let me know what you're working on down below. Leave a link to your website, leave a link to your project. I want to see what you're building because uh, it's super interesting how people are building all sorts of businesses all over the world never ceases to amaze me. So uh, we're gonna switch this over here to related keywords and we're gonna wait another decade here. All right, so we've got a keyword difficulty, super easy to see here. 
it says it's possible. It might be a little bit difficult. We can see the monthly searches look a little bit different here than uh, key search. So you could see this for the past 12 months, it says that it stayed solid at 50. Whereas, um, I guess, whereas KW Finder is saying that the search volume is 10. Interesting. Uh, and that there was a spike back before then. So we only, we're seeing uh, a few years here versus key search. You're only seeing one year for the past 12 months. So, you know, that's something to note there. You get a lot, like the keywords show up here with a lot of the keyword difficulty already pulled. Maybe if I was paying for the higher tier of key search, it would do that for me. Uh, you can easily see uh, who you're going to be able to knock out here. Um, and who's got, you know, what they have here, trust flow links, if they've got a Facebook, how strong their presence here is. You can easily search uh, via domain. If you wanted to like put in your competitor there, then you could do that as well. Um, I really like the interface of KW Finder. I don't know what it is. It feels more like a, I don't know. It feels nicer, uh, key search. Just feels a little bit clunky from time to time, but they do have some good things here going for them. And that one of those is their explore feature here where you can enter your domain. You can quickly see kind of like a dashboard of, of your domain. You could see like what score you should try to target. So this is saying I should go for anything below a 28 in difficulty. I think we're going to surpass that here. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being a little bit uh, full of myself here. Haha. <laughs> Uh, you can see what keywords you're ranking for, backlinks. You can see your top competitors. They actually do a pretty good job here uh, because this is they only show two directories. Sometimes some places will show multiple directories and not even your local competition. Um, and it'll show your rankings distribution, your referrals, top anchors for those referrals. And you can even then go deeper and say view your keywords. So this is a really nice feature on Key Search. Another thing I really like to do is go to their competitive analysis and go to Page Analyzer. And I also do this for any uh, potential clients, anybody that I'm kind of scouting out. I will put in their web address here, their page, their home page, and uh, pull it up and get an idea of what their metrics are, how high the score is. Uh, if they have all the basic information filled out, if they have their description, if they have good headings. Um, uh oh, I need to put two alt attributes to statistic. Um, that's something that you can also point out to somebody. Um, you know, if you've got uh, URLs that are looking good, your internal links, your keyword cloud, your uh, usability. So if you got a fav icon, if you got your declared language, all these things, doc type. Uh, deprecated HTML, speed, uh, XML sitemap, analytics. This is another one that you could help somebody put on Google Analytics. If you're not running Google Analytics, you're really missing out on a lot of stuff that you can kind of pick apart and figure out what's going on. Uh, the best thing about this is down at the bottom here, they have page speed insights from Google themselves. This is pulling from their Lighthouse uh, um, you know, API or however that is connected. And you can get a really good idea here if, if you're getting at least 80% or so of the uh, page speed you know, score here. This is where it's really important that you have everything going on. And this is really nice. You can print this in a report and send it over to a client. You could you know, do a video review of going over this. It gives you actionable advice to make your presence on Google better. So uh, I really like this feature. They also have some YouTube research. So if you're doing any YouTube, then you may want to check that out as well. Um, let's just go ahead and dive in here really quick. So this is kind of what I'm doing for this video right here, key search versus KW Finder. And the competition is fairly easy on YouTube. Um, the competition is easy. You can see pop up the other videos, how old the video is. I, didn't, I think this is days, how many days it is. Um, how many views it has, if they've got a title match. You can see some other keywords here. Um, you can also do rank tracking with key search. You can do that with KW Finder as well or with Mangools. Um, they have a uh, rank tracker here. It's kind of a different tool, so it takes you in a different area. Um, 
and you can kind of get the same basic information there. You have different trackers for mobile and for desktop, which is kind of interesting. Um, and you can kind of see how things change over time, et cetera, uh, your visitors, all that. Um, and with key search, they have something very similar where you can pull up, you know, your different your domains that you are tracking and the different keywords that you want to track. If you want to track more keywords, you can refresh the data, um, go dive deeper into there. They've got a ton more tools here that I'm not going to get into just because it would be too much to go over. But you can see that there's a lot of functionality here. There's a lot of things that you can do to, you know, drum up ideas for keywords to go after and make a plan. My favorite thing about Keyword Finder is actually their uh, their tool here, which is a browser extension for both Firefox and Chrome. And this thing gives you the full picture of essentially what that uh, report from Key Search shows, but a little bit deeper. So you can see the overview here, how their authority is. You can go to see their keywords. You can see their backlinks. You can see on-page SEO. If they've got everything filled out, how many words there are, uh, your headings, um, you can see meta tags and structured data, the page speed, uh, if they have a social graphic, and then if you want to add some, if you already have rankings, then that shows up here. Uh, if you didn't, then it would show what keywords you could track with it. Um, so this is a really great way to quickly kind of get an idea of you know, let's say you find a competitor. So let's say that you find a competitor. Uh, let's just say for, for giggles. Actually, let's do frog because my name is Jeremiah and Jeremiah was the bullfrog. So fat frog media. Let's see what they're ranking for. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull this up over here. So fat frog media is has a good domain authority page ranking. Let's see their keywords. You can see what they're ranking for for their whole site. You can even see for their exact URL. It doesn't pull this up because there's probably not very many people landing here, so there's not enough data for it to pull. Sometimes that's something that's very frustrating. Is that uh, it seems like it seems like KW Finder and Key Search don't really grab onto a lot of new keywords really well, uh, or keywords that are not being searched actively. So that's something that I've noticed if you're like really digging for like those tiny little nuggets of searches where they're just starting out, you know, it's going to be grow. Then you might not be able to see all that. You could see their backlinks. You could see if they have their on page SEO optimized, which I'm sure they do. You can see their meta tags, all that information, rank tracking. If you wanted to track them, then you could check that out there. Um, that tool is really cool. I love pretty much this. I would pay for just this, honestly, like just this extension right here. I'd pay for that alone uh, for probably like half the price of what I'm paying for Mangles right now. What we're also going to look at is Key Search has an extension which can only be used on Google. Um, I don't know why I typed in Google when I was in the Google search bar. Anyways. Um, so let's see uh, key search versus KW Finder. And what we can do is we can go over here to key search and we can check the competition. And it'll analyze and pull up any day now. OK, uh, come on now. Okay, let's refresh the page. It's fine. This is interesting. It's not working for me. Why are you not working? Well, this is clearly a fail. Um, sorry. Uh, what it shows you, though, is all the information about each um, URL that's here and the strength of the URL and kind of all the, essentially all this information right here gets pulled. Obviously, it's not from KW Finder, it's from Key Search. But it's all this data gets pulled uh, in a nice little handy dandy little box over here. I don't know. It's all right. Um, I don't use it. I, I use the other Mangul's tool more. Uh, just my personal preference. So, uh, you know, that kind of is a walkthrough of Key Search and KW Finder. 
I uh, hope this video was helpful. Hopefully, you know, you'll check these tools out and see if you can save some money on your monthly or yearly expenses uh, in your SEO pursuits. I would definitely suggest checking both of them out. Why not? They're both so affordable that you can try them out. Um, I think there are some trials that they both have. Uh, check it out. Links in the description below. If you do end up using it, would love the support of the channel and using the affiliate link down below. Would really appreciate that. Uh, one love. So be sure to uh, leave a comment down below if you have any questions about how to use these tools. If you have any specific questions about a specific feature that they have and you want to learn more, throw it in the comments down below. I would be happy to answer it. I'm in these tools every day. So would be happy to show you around before you make the decision to, you know, take that next step in building your business using SEO and or using a more affordable tool. All right, enough rambling. I need to go have some tea for this throat that is tired of talking. Uh, I hope you're doing well. And until next time, peace. <laughs>